What the freak is up, YouTube? This is the grand finals of the foursome tournament of Smash Bros. We're getting Wolf versus Luigi from the random picks here. This is this is an interesting matchup. Uh, we got Caleb on Luigi, and we <laughs> and Porter's already getting mentally right checked off, out right, right at the rift. rift. This is first round. This is a best of five, by the way. So it's first to three wins. You gotta realize too, Porter's already had an insane amount of time playing these games. That was very yeah, crazy. that and that was only a best of three. I mean, if he's struggling against a guy who only played Brawlhalla, who knows what he's gonna do against a 250,000 hour player? But I mean, but I mean, Porter's taking a pretty easy lead here in the percentile. Let's just see how let's see how Caleb counters back here. But currently, he's getting absolutely. This is anything like the practice lit. matches. Not gonna be any contest. I mean, if we if we saw the practice matches, Caleb absolutely dog walked them, and uh, hopefully he hopefully that was just a test run for Porter just to see how his opponent played, and uh, he comes in with a different attitude here. But what I'm seeing, this isn't looking good. The early stock lead for Caleb here. Well, there's two. All right, I guess we should probably just pause this and go straight to round two at this point, huh? Hey, I mean, I mean, Porter's just throwing himself off the match here. It's really him versus himself. Caleb could probably put the controllers down and uh, just let let Caleb or let Porter do whatever the hell he wants. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is just a pitiful performance from Porter here. Finally took a stock off. I mean, but did he really, though? It, it's really not. Because it really looked like Caleb just gave up and he just let himself die. Porter's really going to pull through. Pull another move like that. Tired of pulling out. Stamina's low right now. For both of them. I mean... Like, what do you, what do you even say about this? It's 4-1. to one. Four to one. I mean, if this is any... Like, do, does he really deserve to be in the Grand Finals? I think Gage should have took that match from Two minutes in, already game one almost done. Oh, wait, no. That's true. Oh, took another stock off. Still 1-3. to three. Not looking good. I mean, honestly... I wouldn't call this a comeback, but uh, there's always a chance that uh, Porter clutches up here. He has that clutch factor occasionally. He, he almost launches himself off the map again, though, and uh, I feel like after the first three times he did that, he probably learned by now. I mean, I mean, if he keeps doing what he's doing, I mean, there's a chance that he comes back here, but I don't think Caleb will let that happen. I think he's too much of a veteran in this in this industry to let that happen. Like, see, that's a perfect effect. Of, oh, this game's over. That game wow. is over. Only took three minutes and 15 seconds. Wow, we're seconds. going straight into match two here. Straight into match two here. I mean, Caleb takes a decisive 1-0 lead in the Young grand lead. finals. Caleb's main. And Caleb's main gets chosen from the random against Peach. Wow, this is not looking good for Porter. I think this is going to be a 2-0 lead right off the rip. Remember, this is a best of five. So, I mean, the reverse sweep is possible. But, I don't know. Without, without Caleb's luck has been going with these random picks, it might just be over already. Unless Porter can show us a little something on Peach here. I, I don't see Peach very often. I don't know how it plays. I mean, he has 270 hours on the game, so I mean, he's probably played everyone for about five hours. 270,000. Yeah, 270,000 hours. Oh. <laughs> Buzz. My apologies, I'm a tad dumb. <laughs> I mean, Caleb's just kind of showing why Young Link is his main here. Taking an early stock lead. But 73% isn't... Wow, he's already trying to do some off-spawn combos. I mean, Toad coming in. I don't know where Toad just came from, but uh, it kind of kind of confuses me. I mean, Peach is afraid to take some space here. Just using Toad to do all of the work for him. 
that what they're supposed to do, though? That's what they're supposed to just protect. Oh! Oh, coming okay. in with a clutch kill. I mean, I guess he's just letting that toad do everything for him. Oh, the up smashes. Oh! You know, if it works, it works. Peach gets out of it, though. So this is, yeah, I mean, this is a close, a this is a close match right here so far. Oh. But the well Stop blocking arrow. for a little too late here. I mean, but he gets out of the air smashes here. He's like, oh, never mind. He's right back into the... Ooh, another... Caleb effective in the air here. I mean, you can't really... There's not much you can do about that. Except for just pray that you stop getting hit by arrows. If you get too close, he hits you with a sword. If you stay too far away, he shoots an arrow at you. There's not much you can do against him. But, I mean, if anyone could do it, it is Porter. He has the chance here. He has all the capabilities. He has the playtime. And just like that, it's a three-stock, three-stock here. Seems pretty even. It seems like he's really good at Peach. Something we would not figure. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen Peach in a tournament-style play here, but when you play random, sometimes this kind of stuff happens. Just like that, 123-0 to zero here. It's, it's looking like it's going to be a stock lead here in a second. Oh, Gets out of the combo, though. Doing a little bit of kicks here. Oh, himself. he's doing some up smashes. Hey, maybe he doesn't want this to be a stock lead for Caleb here. He's got to be careful with those up smashes up. and Seems like Didn't time the block good well enough. And uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles occasionally. I mean, Caleb really showing why he mains Link. He's, really knows what he's, he's probably doing. never felt the touch of a woman. <laughs> it seems like Porter will go out this match, but he is not leaving without going out swinging, folks. That, that is true. I mean, this is looking way better than that first match already. I think I think Porter just, uh, I think it took a little too much out of him against Gage, and that get, that match was a little too close, and the nerves got to him in that first match. But uh, just like that, he's already taken this, he's taking this game back. I mean, this is a, this is almost a stock taken right here. Don't let him back up. I mean, Porter using some insane, uh... It's insane just standing there around. Well, the no, team. no, he doesn't want to get too close so he doesn't get countered by Caleb. So it's really effective to stay far away so he doesn't get, uh, piss slammed. And just like that, he's out of here. I don't even know how that hit, but it did. But still 100% lead for Caleb here. I don't... It's going to be hard, but not impossible to do, as long as he keeps hitting some combos here. But from what we're seeing, it's not looking good. Ooh, that was clinical. That was gone. Yeah, that was clinical. But I do have to say, I am proud of Porter for not self-killing. Or SD, as the Smash community might call him. Oh, I don't know how that didn't hit, but that was pretty close. Almost made it a real close game. I mean, it still is a close game here. This could go either way at this point. But uh, he's got to get stop. He's got to stop getting poked in the butt here. It's, it's oh, the bombs. Ooh. One good combo from Caleb will send this. We'll send this to round three or to match three of this grand final. And uh, it just looks. It just looks like Caleb is uh, only spanning one button here, but. Uh, Hey, whatever Luckily, works, man. Porter gets out of it. Oh. Hey, he blocked that for a second there, but uh, Caleb sends like us to match three. Wow, very close, that was very that was much closer than we uh, thought it was gonna be on Young Link here. And uh, we'll see you in match three. Here. All right, we're back into match three here. Uh, we're going randoms again, and it's Shulk versus Roy. Some say this wouldn't be canon. But uh, I also have no clue how these players work. Yeah, me neither. So I think we're just gonna be talking about how they're hitting, hitting, hitting things with their sword. He has a shield right now. I don't exactly know what that shield does. Hopefully the comments can roast the absolute crap out of me for not knowing. But uh, you know. And that's why Caleb's in the grand finals here. Cause he only has 1.8 million thousand hours in this game. Just 
nice little lead in it. I mean, this is looking good out of Porter here. Maybe he goes for the reverse sweep here. We don't know. We never know what might happen in uh, Dill Pill 33 Gaming YouTube foursome smash tournament. Unpredictable. I mean, their sword play here is insane to me. I don't know what that was, but that seems like he called it in a little bit of a fist there. But uh, I mean, Porter's still in the lead here. He's looking pretty good, but it's still an even match here. I mean, he really just burns him right there. You never know what gets him. What is that? Aiden, how is this match making you feel right now? Uh, I mean, heck, four, four stock to three stock here. I mean, you gotta think Porter gets the advantage in this match with Roy here. I mean, as long as he doesn't get complacent, keeps going SD. at the level he is. He's doing a lot better at not as being hey. that first round. It was just the mistakes that got that first match, but uh, second match, look, it was really close. So, I mean, you can really give it to either player here. And we're finally seeing what uh, Caleb looks like not on a main. But, like, at this point, with 3.6 million thousand hours, anyone's your main at this point. I mean, Caleb's charging that to hit absolute air. I don't know what the air did to him, but he was not okay with it. Oh, he's holding that, but uh, Caleb just falls to his death here. That was really cool looking. I don't know what that was, but I tip it. I tip it. Anything could happen. This could go to match four here. And honestly, I want to see some signs of life out of Caleb in this match here. I mean, he didn't get defeated after those last two matches. I'm glad he's coming in this with a different mindset. And he's take, he took the lead early, and he's been maintaining this lead. Luckily, he didn't get hit out right there, so it didn't... Oh, but didn't make it back on the platform. Now it's an even game again. This is, you got to think, this isn't looking good for Porter. You never want to see it even, because even with a stock advantage, it's never even. I think we should see a little bit more uh, foreplay. Whoa, whoa, go! Oh. Never mind. I mean, I don't even know what's happening here, but I love what I'm seeing out of both these guys. It's a, it's a great A bang out. There's a lot. There's a lot of. There's a lot of sword fighting here. Oh my goodness, I'll. And Caleb takes a lead for the first time in this game. Oh, but it goes right back. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. This could go anywhere. I mean, Porter has to win this to keep his tournament chances alive here. He doesn't want to get 3-0'd and walked away a complete loser. The casters are stunned by what our fellow caster just said. At 69%, this is a buff right here. And it's taken away immediately by Caleb. He doesn't want to give him that much of a bonus here. Oh no, and it's not looking good for Porter. Unless Caleb just falls off the match. Yes. Well, I mean, the match was over. So it's, it's the birth of their marriage. <laughs> That's an inside joke for anyone wondering. I mean, they're just looking at each other at this point. Oh, he put the, oh, oh, and this is over. Caleb, Caleb with the 3 0 grand finals victory. But we got to tip the performance out of Porter, except for that first match. Everything looked really close. And, uh.
I mean, we, I mean, we need we need to get the winners. Over, we need to get the winner over here for an interview real quick. No, I, keep in mind, he's almost made this year. I've never made it. Hey, let's get it. let's get him in the seat here. Let's talk for a second. Yeah. Uh, so, how are you feeling after winning the Dillpill 33 Foursome Smash Tournament? Dude, I I have 750,000 hours in Smash Bros, and I think it's already coming to play. Um, I mean, I've I, never really yeah, main Shulk. Shulk was one of the few I've never really played. I knew he had different abilities. Um, I didn't really know what they were. I mean, you really stuck with that smash ability the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I think yeah, a smash was... ability makes you smash better. So, I mean, you know, I mean, have to stay with it. that's a good thinking there. Um, I think I saw in that second stock I died, I went for the jump ability. Uh, I couldn't get it off in time. If I'd have got that jump and jumped on stage, I'd been pretty sick. I mean, but, like, sometimes the sick sometimes things just don't happens. happen. But you still took the 3-0-W here pretty, am, I am, pretty confidently here. I am proud of my performance in uh, event one. Two, um, uh, I mean, Young the first one main. was fucking crazy, yeah. It wasn't was... good. I mean, um, with your it, when you when you say main, you did better with the other two characters except for. Like, I did, I did. Young Link is, is very technical. Um, you have to really so be in the mindset. So you're saying that your opponent was more technical than you, but just couldn't show up today? I I would say that he was technical in some aspects. Yes. Um, I think we're gonna take that information, um, get a little better in the off season, and uh, okay. I'll be back next year. All right, sounds good. It was a pleasure. pleasure uh, can pleasure. we get the can we get the second place second place guy here to come sit in this? How you doing, Dopo? How are you? I mean, that fucking first round was insane to watch. I'm not gonna it say was, it was it my was best. Pleasure. It wasn't my best. The best of me was not here. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, it did look a little bit like a bad day. Do you it know? It was a little like, bit what, rusty. Like was... I've been trying to practice, but you know, I kind of had a cold. I coughed a little bit this uh, morning. Some would say you might have choked a second. No, I didn't choke, but I did cough a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, can we can we talk about that first round matchup between that you first and round? Like, that kinda, was really close. Was that just like the nerves kicking in? I was, that being was a little bit cocky, in? if I was being honest. A little I'll, bit cocky. Yeah. I gave him a couple stocks. I mean, the going. DK looked very convincing. I was Never, feeling him out, feeling him out, yeah. real good. I mean, um, I mean the nines that could have hit you. That match could have gone very differently. Oh, those, I, I tip you with Gage. Being able to those stay nines. In let me tell you about those nines. He hit five of them bitches, and only landed one. That's what he said. But let's talk about it. Hey, um, and then if if we go into the grand finals here, it wasn't it wasn't your best. The grand day. finals. Three, it was, oh, like you got. I had a cold. Owed. I had a cold. I mean. I mean, but like that first round with the uh, the fox dude. I also got Fox, then Peach, then... But, I mean, Fox is pretty good. Fox is a good player. No. He's pretty good, but you just threw yourself off the match a few times. Again, he got Luigi. He got all of his mains. He got all of his mains. That's not my fault. But when, but when we come to the end of this looking for excuses, you got to think you're going you're gonna to get 3-0'd every Again, time, right? I'm just going to say, not my best play. Not my best play. I'm going to practice this offseason, get better, and I will be back. Can we expect Anything. I don't think we expect. We know. All yes. right. Do you have anything to say to your longtime fans from Dillpill 33 Gaming? I want to apologize because this is not my best. I just didn't do it this time, and I, I have to prove myself to you. All right. Thank you for your time today, Porter. It was it was a great having you here, and I hope you get great home safe. To and you. uh. Can we get a Can we get like a All right. We're gonna get uh, Gage in here. Uh, Gage. Uh, pretty disappointing. Uh, getting. Knocked down the first round. Well, I'm not too upset, mostly because I have about 10 minutes of play time before coming into I this mean, tournament. I mean, honestly, it was really close. I loved your Rob gameplay, even though for a while it just felt like you were flying around for no reason. Well, you, you see, explain I kinda, that. Can you explain that strategy? It was good defense. It, it, was, it was defense. I'll say that. Uh, mostly, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, like I said, I'm learning the controls as I'm playing in this tournament. Don't know any of my move sets. As the match went on, though, I. Fit, I I think I got a feel for him. Yeah, it learned, definitely looks like you were figuring out a little bit get there. Get that clutch in that first round. Now that second round, though, he he was playing his main. I mean, you know, but when you queue in with Game and Watch there, that was that was super interesting to see. Well, I, no one, definitely no one told you to do that. There was I, no outside influence. There was, there was that, a little uh, bit of peer pressure just in, from my brain telling me, you know, you yeah. should play Game and Watch. He's pretty good. I, I mean, at this point, we were calling you Gage and Watch, so exactly. it, was, it, was, it seems like it's for you. I was getting lucky with the nines, just the skill wasn't there to, to get the hits on Yeah, them. I mean, like, it's all about positioning, I feel like, in that one. Yep, but uh, yep. you did get one off, and you don't see that very often in tournaments, so we have yep. to tip that a little bit. And it's, uh, it's been a pleasure having you here, and oh. I hope you get home safe as well. I will be. Quick little thing. Next year, I'm going to be in the Grand Finals. All right, well, you heard it here first. Gage and Watch is going to be in the finals, and our last competitor Wait, that played today. I have questions for Gage. 
We were saving questions for after for the TikToks. Go follow dillpill 33 gaming on TikTok. In uh, the last one, we're going to get Aiden here. Uh, probably the most disappointing competitor <laughs> out of all the ones we've had here today. I mean, some would argue that he hasn't touched a controller in his whole fucking life, but um, what happened there, Aiden? Like, what, what was the issue? You know, folks, uh, I was playing blindfolded. Uh, my left leg got amputated last Thursday. My, uh, I mean, I'm hearing a whole lot of excuses here. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you can see me next year. I will pull up and I will beat all of the competition. I mean, honestly, I folks, this is not my game. Put me on UFC four. I will smash anyone, and that is on God. Anyone in this game. Oh, I challenge anyone. Anyone, Allahu Akbar. I challenge anyone. Sorry, I think we had to cut him off the mic there. He was getting a little bit too rampage. But as you can hear from him as well, he's also going to be coming back for Grand Finals. So hopefully we're going to see a lot more competition next year. And hopefully it's going to be a little bit bigger. We only had four competitors this year. But uh, hopefully soon I'm going to get something in the works here. We're going to have to escort him out right now. Uh, he's being escorted off the premises. So I don't know if we're ever going to see him again. But hopefully we see him in the Grand Finals. And it's been a pleasure. And if you enjoyed this, you should like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Stay safe.